Good morning, Rajas. This is Mr. Lawson here in the office on Monday, August 24th with our daily broadcast. First, a huge shout out and happy birthday from Renaissance to first Mr. Pope in our science department teaching biology and to the following students, Christian Becerra Barajas, Edgar Beltran, Jesus Cardenas Garcia, Oscar Cruz Castillo, Josiah Felix, Kelly Lopez Romero, Isamar Mendoza Gomez, Jonathan Palomares Sanchez, Jonathan Rodriguez Leon, and Jairo Zepeda. Happy birthday. We hope all of you have a great celebration and a wonderful time of festivity with your families this evening. Also, a huge shout out to all of our students who have been doing the right thing. I want to say thank you for the positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. Renaissance students, way to go. Thank you for all those wonderful emails that you sent out to staff. I got a few of those myself. Thank you for the encouragement and the inspiration that you sent out across the campus on Friday afternoon and Friday evening. Also, thank you to all of the students who are showing tremendous integrity and determination to get online with your classes and do what you're supposed to do and to take a stand and support your teachers when we've had some uninvited guests trying to get onto Zoom and being inappropriate. With that being said, I want to remind everyone when you're on the Zoom meeting, you need to log in with your full name, not a nickname, but your full legal name, whatever is on your registration, because teachers don't know everyone yet, and it's important that they can match your full name when they're taking attendance and not a nickname. The other thing we're matching is to make sure that when you log in and they see your name, that it's actually your email, because we've had some inappropriate people trying to log on hijacking people's emails. So we're trying to catch that so we can remind you to change and update your password so those things don't happen. And a reminder that I sent out the link and it's also in the school-wide Google Classroom on how to get help for your computer. So let me remind you, this is what the link will show when you click on it and it will ask you, is it a student account issue where you forgot your password? Is it a parent view problem? Is it an application problem or is it a Chromebook problem? When you click that and hit next, it will take you to the right screens. So if you're having a problem logging in or having a problem with some of those issues, that's where you go. You want to make sure you're doing that. Also, you can, if you have a problem with a broken Chromebook, a broken screen, after September 1, there will be charges for a replacement of those broken screens. So you need to email our librarians and you can find their names and their email address on our school webpage under library. I am happy to help. I've had several of you email me, but the most appropriate thing is email directly to the library. The reason I say that is from Wednesday until Friday, I had 1,284 emails just on those first three days of school. And part of that was way above normal because we had a lot of connection issues. But the first and best thing you can do when you're having a problem with your Chromebook is emailing the library. If you're e asking about a textbook, that's where you email. And if it's about your attendance because you couldn't get logged on, email your teacher so they know you're trying because that helps and counts towards your attendance. So make sure you're emailing them. Remember, your attendance does matter, and I want to thank you for all doing your very best to get online each time. For those of you that are asking and are concerned because you show an absence on Wednesday or Thursday because you were trying to log on and couldn't, I emailed or I forwarded those emails to our attendance office so that they could begin clearing them. And they're doing that, but remember, it takes a lot of time. With 2,010 students times eight periods, that's 16,000 periods of attendance ever, um, that you would have every other day. And so Miss Darlene and Miss Megan are going as fast as they can to fix the attendance for last week. So just be patient. We'll get there. Also, a reminder to join my Google school-wide classroom. I have the password here on the screen, and we're over a thousand of you that have done so. Remember, that's where I have the bell schedule, the planner, the technology help link. Um, there's a number of things that I'm putting in there to make it easy for you to find what you need. So make sure you join that classroom so I can keep putting things in there that you need for the entire school. And remember that if you have a text, missing textbook or a missing workbook, we will let you know. You'll hear from us when those arrive. Our plan is when those come, we will contact you and then we will do an evening grab and go from probably 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Some of our office help 
um, office help has offered to join me so that we can do that really easy and quickly in the evening. So we'll do as many of those as we need to make sure we get you what you need. But remember, we're waiting on some of these shipment companies because some of those are produced and printed in other states. And because of the pandemic, things have been really backed up. So just be patient. Your teachers are aware and are trying to work around those situations where you're missing something that's out of your control and out of our control. So don't panic and wait for that phone message and email and then we'll have the evening grab and go. Also, a final reminder, this week, uh, Friday, is the deadline for those of you that want to apply for the NDO Youth Advisory Council. Now remember, the Youth Advisory Council is for students that live in the city of Indio and you only have to be in high school and it's an opportunity to learn about our local government. They meet every other month and they participate in community activities and last year the president of that council is one of our students. In fact, we had four of the officers but they meet regularly and give the city of Indio advice as well on things to do to meet the needs of our youth and I would love for you to be a part. So the application is there and it's on our social media so make sure you take advantage if you're interested. From our counselors, we just want to remind you we have some resources to help you stay safe and you probably noticed that some of these numbers and things are on the back of your ID card this year. First, if you have something to report, bullying or something unsafe or you're worried about a friend who is making some poor choices or maybe wanting to harm themselves, you can report that anonymously to psstworld.com. It's sort of like telling a secret. It stands for psst.com, which means I want to report this because I want my friend to be safe. Also, we also want to encourage you that Safe House of the Desert provides resources. You can download the Safe House app and or you could either text this particular number 844-204-0880. That's there because we also want to give you a resource if you have a problem or in need and you need to get somewhere quick for it to be safe. And last but not least, this is on the back of your ID card. We don't want anyone to harm themselves or to become so desperate that they want to lose their life. Last year we had students who took care of one another and said, my friend is feeling really low and I'm worried about them. And they made some phone calls to help make sure we would save a life. So this number is also on the back of your ID card. Now, real quickly, some news for our seniors. We are making arrangements. Very soon you will be getting information from us about your setting your appointments. Here in the foyer of the PAC, we'll be able to do senior portraits. Uh, it'll be very different because of the pandemic, because the studios don't allow you to come there and there's not the ability to change into multiple outfits. So we have some information coming. Also, seniors, um, in the next day or two, I will be sending you an email in your MyDS account about those crown and tiara photos for the first day of school, a place where you can send them uh, and drop them so that hopefully you might be considered to be in the yearbook. So I'll need for you to drop those photos in. A uh, reminder again, everyone, to be familiar and go regularly on our school webpage. All you have to do in the search bar is type IHS Rajas and it'll help you find it very fast. This is what the front page looks like and I want you to notice first off at the top you'll see some red buttons. If you need a work permit it's on the bottom. You click that and it will take you to the work permit information and the copy of a work permit. The application I should say. If you are needing to speak to a counselor or you're needing some of those numbers I just showed on the screen there's a button that says counseling resources. If you want to see the broadcast again it's there also. So everything you need we're putting on the web page to make it easy for you to find the information you need as well as your parents. If your parents don't have a computer or a smartphone, please on the weekend be sure to open your Chromebook and take them to the web page so they can click and watch the parent broadcast or read the parent preview that you see in those red buttons. I do those every single Friday night or Saturday morning so that our parents can stay informed as to what's happening at school and for the information that's important for them to know. Don't forget also we have masks available. They're $10 in our office. We will soon be having those in the activities office. But while we're closed to, uh, for school and only open to the public from 8 to 12, we'll have these in the front office. They are $10, but if you bought an ASB card, you can get a $1 discount. And now for our joke of the day. So. 
Thank you again for another fun joke that was sent my way. Why was the teacher wearing sunglasses to school? Because he or she had bright students. And I agree. <laughs> and now for our final thought. And a word of inspiration that I also want to share that was sent to me. And I really like this one. This is from a, a painting called Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh, a famous artist. And he says, if you hear a voice within you say, you cannot paint, then by all means, paint, and that voice will be silenced. So what does that mean? If the voice in your head tells you, this is too hard, you can't learn it, you just prove it wrong and go ahead and learn it, and that voice will disappear. If you're trying something new, you're trying to learn to play an instrument, trying to learn to type on your keyboard, whatever it is you're trying to learn, you be determined like our Raja determination. You give it your best and work at it and that voice will go away. Why? Because you can do those things if you set your mind to it. And if at first you don't do very well, don't give up. That doesn't mean you failed. It just means you haven't gotten it yet and you just need a little more practice. So keep working at it. With that, I want to say, say a fine farewell before I sign off. Something I want to remind you of. Something that was shared with me by a fellow principal, and, it said, and I want to say this. Every day I look in the mirror and I think this, of these phrases, and it says this. This day has been given to me, fresh and new, a clean start. I can learn from it or throw it away. I will choose to do my best with my thoughts, my words, and my actions. This day will be used and not lost. I'm not willing to let any day go away unproductive. And so with that, I want to encourage you to do the same. Stay healthy, helpful, and calm, and we will see you all tomorrow.